Instagram as a creator or entrepreneur. If you haven't watched the other 50, kindly click on the link here and it will take you to the playlist of the first 50. So, today's lesson is the importance of accounting. Um, now, it depends on the scale of your business. Um, if you are just starting off in your room or in university, you are selling like hair that you buy in labels or something. I know, I met someone who said, I think she, no, she, buy, she used to buy hair in Bado and sell it in Bowen and she make like maybe 100 and she pack or something. So if you're doing something like that, but you don't necessarily you feel like you're like a proper accountant. Um, but I think it was Dan Bussey that said like, the two most important people to business that is our accountant and his lawyer. Um, so just make sure you have like a proper record of your, your, your money. So income and expenditure, like know what you're getting in, know what you're spending, like budget budget, budget, save, um, and invest. So I invest in mutual funds, um, the treasury bills, the shares, um, the various instruments that you can invest in, but just do your research on like money markets and finances. Like there's money masters with NIMBY, there's smart money with RSA. There are many like females who are making personal finance easier to understand so do your research and like make sure you keep track of the money that's coming in and the money that's going out i know um someone i know like i think she won a um she won a some competition in her first full year of entrepreneurship and she was me to move to but to have questions because she just went in and she, like she didn't keep a proper um, record of her finances and at the end of the year she, like, she hadn't really made a profit like, that really made a profit. The only money she had actually made was the money she had gotten from the grant. Um, just like, be aware of what you're spending and what is coming in. There are apps that can help you with that. Um, and yeah, ask your friends, ask the people you know who are in that industry for advice. It is super important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching this um, blog. If you have any, if there's any app that you from that helps you with your finances so please forgive me if you've had any experiences where you really got in debt because um you were spending more than you had like i don't i don't use credit cards i mean my bank credit cards i just i wouldn't want that like, i don't know i'm still wondering that i owe some more money so i spend what i have and um yeah that's i think that's how i roll for some there are many people sorry they'll be like i know like this report recently i'm seeing oh I have my business 10,000, I have my business 100, I have my business 500. Like even African naturalists, I don't know if you've heard of it, but they make like, um, like natural hair products, so shampoo, conditioner, all that jazz, with sugar butter. I started with um, a really small amount of money, but I think now it's like a million. So yeah, it is possible to start with a little amount of money. Don't think that, oh, you have to wait for one grant to come before you can start your business. Start small.